Hello everybody and welcome to our SOLIDWORKS Student Sponsorship Program webinar animated by my colleague Brian Hilner, our SOLIDWORKS Educational Product Manager. My name is Valerie Lecole and I will be your host for the presentation. During this webinar, we will learn more about the two of us specially dedicated to student teams and all the benefits this sponsorship entails. And the good news is that you, like over 20,000 student teams in the world did in the past, can get easy access to the most powerful set of design tools and software, including our new cloud-based 3D experience platform. We have a lot of information to cover, but first, let's go over a couple of housekeeping items. For best results, we suggest you view the webinar in full screen mode. If you have any questions during the webinar, feel free to enter them into the question section of the toolbar. All questions will be answered at the end of the presentation. Also, we are recording this webinar and a copy of the video will be made available to you. You will be notified by email when it is available. Lastly, before we start, we would like to make this an interactive session and having two poll questions that show up now on your screen. So please answer them as they come. I will give you some minutes. And the second one. Sorry, there was technical issue with the poll. Anyway, uh, you will also have a um, survey that will be sent to you within the email, including the, the webinar uh, record. That's pretty much of me now, so I'm now hand over to Brian, who will officially kick off the session. Brian, the track is yours. Thank you very much, Valerie, and thanks everybody for joining today. My name is Brian Hilner. I am the SolidWorks product manager responsible for our education product portfolio, which includes SolidWorks desktop education edition and student edition, of which you may already use. But uh, I'm also in charge of the 3D experience platform uh, from the product side for, for SolidWorks. So today, we're excited to present to you our new 3D experience platform for student sponsorship, which is our online cloud platform allowing you to design and collaborate seamlessly with your student team anywhere, anytime, on any device. So this uh, presentation today, like I mentioned, will be about the SOLIDWORKS sponsorship and our 3D Experience platform sponsorship for student teams. A bit of what we'll cover today, the first section, which will be the majority of the webinar, is about what products and tools and apps are included in our sponsorship. The next section will be how to get sponsored, so where you can sign up online. And we'll end with a section on certification and My SolidWorks. So let's dive on into the first section, which is our Dassault Systems SolidWorks sponsorship. So a bit of history, since about 2009 or so, SolidWorks brand, we've sponsored over 20,000 student teams 
and those comprise of over 250,000 individual students. And with Formula students specifically, we sponsored over 420 student teams with over 18,000 students. And as we talk to these student teams, the top benefits that we hear over and over again uh, are that the students get to use and learn the same tools that the pros and the industry use every day. With our certification, it also unlocks training, con or sorry, with our sponsorship, it also unlocks training content and very valuable certification. And those certifications can be used to boost your resume and overall about having fun with your classmates. So some of the other competitions that we sponsor besides Formula Student, we have Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. They actually make super complex unmanned vehicles, which is you know, pretty cool. We also sponsor Shell Eco Marathon, which is another large sponsorship, as well as Formula Student. And now I'd like to play a video, which is a focus on one of our Formula Student teams in India competing in last year's competition. So let's see what they have to say. The philosophy behind Accelerator Formula Racing is that we believe it's not about going faster, it's about getting smarter. Accelerator Formula Racing started way back in 2006, where six enthusiastic students came up with an idea of developing a formula-style racing vehicle, and they thought what better place to learn it from than the Formula Student Formula Student Formula Student Germany, which is considered to be the world championship of all the Formula Student competitions, is itself very demanding. First of all, there are various brainstorming sessions to decide on what are the different aspects that we are going to be working on this year. After the brainstorming session, we came to the designing part. For designing and manufacturing a racing vehicle, it is really important that you have a 3D visualization software like SOLIDWORKS. Uh, you don't need to go to various different softwares. If you are using SOLIDWORKS, it provides the proper ecosystem for doing everything in a single place. After that, you finally manufacture your whole system, assemble your whole car, and take it to the testing rounds so that uh, vehicle performance can be enhanced. We spend various sleepless nights on the car. We devote around 30,000 man hours to take it to the required level of reliability which is demanded on the German tracks. Few months before our testing, we experienced some problem with the motors. Uh, we experienced a problem with the accumulator cells. Few of our accumulator cells were overheated and were permanently damaged. They could not be used. There were days when we thought it would be much easier if we just gave up. We remembered our motto, the track that has to be won. In all those moments of crisis, our team, which is like a second family to us all, remembered all the sacrifices that we have made together. We supported each other, we dusted ourselves and rose back again. Slab and slammed on the brakes. Suddenly, all four wheels locked, and I could see the thumbs up raising from the field marshal present there. So there you have it, straight from a Formula student team of uh, using SOLIDWORKS to design and build their vehicle. Let's dive into what's included with your SOLIDWORKS sponsorship. 
Now, as I mentioned, we have two different softwares that you can sign up for. Let's first talk about SolidWorks Desktop. So what's included inside SolidWorks Desktop Sponsorship is everything that you see here on this slide. So it includes SolidWorks Premium 3D CAD, which is our flagship software, but it also includes all of the other SolidWorks products that you can see here as well. So simulation, motion, plastic, electrical, cam, composer, and even visualize to create very rich photo quality renders. But also included with SOLIDWORKS Desktop Sponsorship is access to My SOLIDWORKS for all of your training content, and most importantly, two free certification vouchers for CSWA and CSWP SOLIDWORKS Associate and Professional Certification. And we'll talk more about that at the end. Now let's dive into our new 3D Experience Platform Sponsorship. So before I discuss what it is, I think an overall sentence uh, sums it up pretty well, is the 3D Experience Platform is a suite of apps and tools for student teams to collaborate seamlessly from anywhere. And that's becoming more important, especially in today's world. So why are we launching this 3D Experience Platform now? Well, simply put, students' needs have changed. Right? And if we look at collaboration, the way students want to learn and collaborate has changed. They don't want to be tied down to a, a PC in the computer lab, for example. They want to be able to use any device they have in their hand, out in the field, out on the tracks, wherever inspiration hits. And also with the, the use of touch and mobile more and more becoming important, students want to bring their own device of choice and are leaning towards using, instead of a mouse, they want to use their fingers to draw and sketch and create their content right there from their tablet. And also, obviously, there's new challenges for schools and students. Virtual classrooms are now a, a, a very big part of our lives these days, where schools and students have to rethink kind of where they teach and how they teach. Schools are being closed and computer labs are no longer accessible, and distance learning is becoming even more important which is very important for uh, you know, cloud products to be able to then teach and learn from anywhere on any device. And student teams really want a, a streamlined solution. There's so many different platforms that they can use that are all disconnected, uh, notifications getting lost, messages in too many different portals to check, and it's becoming difficult to manage a team project. So students really want a streamlined, connected solution. And the last point of why we're, we're you know, launching this now is the industry is evolving and changing. So there used to be these disconnected business silos of which you have uh, these departments operating in their closed walls where data exchange was static and cumbersome. Tracking data and like comments and feedback would all be completely disjointed and you'd get lost in translation. And what was especially hard is multiple file types used throughout the design to manufacture process. So a different file type for design versus simulation versus trying to look at your model in VR. And all of that just adds further complexity and breaks down communication and, and a team's momentum. So the industry is evolving to this connected, efficient ecosystem, a single platform to exchange and track ideas. And the reason why we wanted to launch it to students as well is because since the industry is changing, we want you to be prepared when you graduate and start looking for a job of this new way of collaborating and designing. So I think this slide sums up the 3D Experience Platform pretty well. So at the, the core of 3D Experience Platform is obviously 3D CAD, but then you have each of these collaboration pillars as well, which are all included. So within the 3D Experience Platform, you also have team messaging and tools for communication very similar to like your Skype or Slack. There's collaboration, uh, uh, collaborative project and task management, so very similar to like Microsoft Teams or Trello. There's online cloud storage, similar to like a Google Drive or Dropbox, but in our case on the platform, it's all connected with your data and with you. Uh, collaboration news feeds inspired by social media, so very similar to like your Facebook with the scrolling news feed 
with likes and notifications. And every aspect of collaboration in 3D CAD, they're all wrapped up together in the same user interface. So it's all of this, all of these pillars of collaboration, as I mentioned, all wrapped up in one user interface. So what's the 3D Experience platform? It connects student teams into a single framework for improved collaboration and faster innovation. We provide apps to design, refine, organize, manage, and collaborate on content in real time. You'll hear me say collaborate a lot in this webinar. Innovate, collaborate, and create great designs anywhere, anytime, anywhere from any device, including Macs and tablets. So now let's dive into what's included with our new 3D Experience platform sponsorship. Well, first up, we have the backbone of the platform. This is all of your collaboration tools to unite your, your team together on a single framework, a single network for improved communication and faster design cycles. This is going to be all of your dashboards, your community, your cloud stores, mess messaging, and more. Next up from, uh, from Anovia, we have apps and tools to organize, manage, and collaborate on content in real time. And this also includes integrated cloud lifecycle management and product data management, which is especially important for a team project. And also one of my favorite apps in the entire 3D Experience platform, which is project planning. And I have a short video to show you and a few slides on project planning as well. Included from SOLIDWORKS brand, you have our next-gen browser-based 3D modeling app. That includes design guidance powered by artificial intelligence. And also, you can create organic shapes with intuitive push and pull sub-D modeling as well. So these are our new X apps or cloud-based or browser-based apps from SOLIDWORKS. And I have a few videos to show you on that as well. But it keeps going. There's still a lot more included in 3D Experience Platform sponsorship. You also have access to loads of advanced 3D modeling apps from Katia to create very complex geometry and surfacing. And also included with, with Katia roles and apps, you've got uh, uh, tools to help improve performance with generative design tools and also advanced virtual reality design reviews as well. From Simulia, we have advanced roles and apps to perform structural, fluid, and other simulations to then validate and optimize your parts and assemblies. This way you can test the strength performance before you start committing money for, uh, for rapid prototyping. And finally, from Delmia, you have roles and apps to help you reduce machining errors in rapid prototyping, increase the efficiency of your, uh, of your process to identify issues earlier, and basically make your parts a reality. So all of this is included with the 3D Experience Platform sponsorship, over 30 roles and over 100 different apps for you to use. Now you've heard me say that a few times, roles and apps. Well, before we continue, I think it's important to set the groundwork for the rest of the slides that will follow. So it's been this 3D Experience Platform. You have many roles that you can use and a role is a collection of apps to complete your tasks faster and with more precision. And then an app is an individualized task or tool to successfully complete your job. And then you can then drag those apps into your own custom dashboard, which is infinitely customizable. And you can create several different views, different sources of information. Dashboards have several tabs to them. So it's basically taking the tools that we're giving you and you can then build your experience, build your interface exactly as you want. So here's a screenshot of the 3D Experience platform with some of the main areas highlighted. You have the compass in the upper left, which then shows you all of your roles and apps. As I mentioned, you just then drag an app over into your dashboard to build out your 3D Experience interface. You have several tabs at the top that you can add more rename, define, drag around, just like tabs in a, in, in a Chrome browser, for example. And in the upper right, you have all of your social collaboration settings. So your profiles, your notifications, sharing content, cloud storage. 
here's a video of me creating a dashboard just to show you how easy it is. So I created a new dashboard, added a tab, renamed the tab, and this is just a web browser that I just dragged over. You also have then your community. So you can drag over your community so you can have all of your real-time collaboration with your team in one spot. You can then drag over your 3D modeling tools like X-Design from SolidWorks along with your cloud storage. So you can then drag models from your cloud storage directly into your X-Design modeling window. So once you have your dashboard prepared, you can share that with the rest of your team and you can see how easy it is to customize your 3D experience working environment to exactly what you want with including web notes and web pages to find inspiration, team communication with your communities, and obviously all of your 3D modeling roles and apps as well. So it's super easy to create your own customizable interface with the platform. Next up is a video on X-Design. Like I mentioned, this is from SolidWorks, and this is our next-gen modeling tool. This is all in the browser, all in the cloud, and it can be used on Macs and tablets and even your smartphone as well. So very similar to SOLIDWORKS, you know, you start off with a sketch, but sketches are on steroids in X-Design. We made a lot of improvements to make sketching easier, mirroring, adding dimensions right there. Um, we've made a lot of improvements when it comes to sketching and fillets and everything like that, just to make things a lot easier for you. As you're going to see right here is on joining these sketches together and then just dragging around it to create those fillets that I want. It's all about speed of design here. And also included in X Design is something called design guidance. Now what I'm doing now is I'm setting some loads on this bracket for, uh, for this recumbent bike. And then based off of the loads that I'm setting, artificial intelligence is working away in the background to tell me what is going to be the strongest part for that design. And then I can just use that as reference geometry to build off of. So super powerful tools all in the cloud. Next up is X-Shape. This is what I mentioned earlier. This is this new sub-D modeling tool where you can easily just create control points, group select them, drag them, move them around, create very organic fluid shapes in literally seconds. You can also create hard uh, right angles and creases and everything like that just really easily by pushing and pulling all of those, uh, those control points that you see. And because it's all integrated in one, one platform, what you just saw there is I created, I just took a screenshot from X-Shape and posted it to my team community so I can just get some feedback from the team about this new uh, organic seat design. So that's kind of the power of the platform. No more send, you know, taking a screenshot. Where did I save the screenshot? Creating an email, okay, now I gotta send this email. Now I gotta make sure that the person sees the email. Right, it's all connected in one ecosystem. So you can just publish this right to a community and it shows up in your team's news feed. And then you can just comment right there and say, hey, it looks good, let's go to the next one. So this is a new um, X app, again, all in the cloud from SolidWorks, it's called Sheet Metal. This is really important for, uh, for Formula student cars. So with this new app, you have a tailored UI that is made just to creating sheet metal parts. Very similar to X-Design, but like I said, the UI is just for sheet metal parts. You have those integrated industry standard corner tools that you can easily add. You don't have to model it all by hand. One touch to just flatten to fold and unfold the pattern. Easily drop your assembly in there as well. One of the new features we added is taking a shape and actually patterning that shape and then subtracting or creating geometry from it, as you see those vents there in the front panel. But probably most important in X Sheet Metal is the ability to unfold your pattern, but then use a tool to find any, um, uh, any, any problems that you might have with manufacturing. As you see, I have two overlapping edges here. So it's really helpful to see these sort of issues right here in your model before you then prototype it and then you know you have, you have an issue. Also included with the platform is an app called 3D Play. Now what this does is this allows you to easily 
review 3D models online without even opening up that model in a 3D uh, system. So you can easily turn the model around, create annotations, mark some arrows, create some comments, take a screenshot of it, as you just saw with the screen flash there, and post it right to your 3D Swim communities for the rest of the team to, uh, to then post and, and take it to the next stage. Now you might be saying, Brian, this all sounds great, but what about all my existing SOLIDWORKS files that I have? Well, don't worry, you can bring all those files with you and use the platform as well. So you can reuse existing parts and assemblies from SOLIDWORKS to the platform and vice versa. You can go from platform to SOLIDWORKS as well. There's expanded apps beyond just 3D modeling, as we'll talk about and as I mentioned a little bit before, with integrated cloud lifecycle management. And then you could take advantage of all the added collaborative power of the platform with those dashboards and 3D Swim communities. So rest assured, you can still bring all your SOLIDWORKS files with you. And here's a short video showing you what we call the the 3D Collaborative Experience for Platform SolidWorks Connector or the, uh, SolidWorks, SolidWorks Desktop Connector. enables you to leverage your existing on-premise design data so here what I'm doing how is I'm starting and when you want. Desktop. Easy I'm to use. This model Simply upload your SolidWorks files to the 3D Experience Platform where I'm you can then utilize XA, them within the variety of apps available, my such as the web-enabled 3D design tools like XShape and XDesign. Now that the I have the model with an X shape, the 3D experience platform I'm just going to choose one of the standard blocks, as I call them. X shape empowers you to design in a completely new ways, utilizing subdivision modeling techniques. Design becomes as much art as engineering. Exactly what I really fun to work Push with. Push pull and drag to make those subtle designs changes in your models. I can then add it here. Really fun. Push pull and drag to make and make those subtle design changes with easy to use tools to create any shape you can imagine. X shape. As your design and then since I'm on the change, you can toggle on between design, different design apps design. while staying within the same environment. And now what I can do is take that new shape, tools pattern it, advantage of subtract it from like the overall X geometry. X design provides familiar 3D design tools you are accustomed sort of to, but available from your web browser virtually ready. anywhere with an internet connection. Now you can see that part that I created with a 3D on the platform, experience with platform X connector. And you can also search for and insert Going the designs you create CAD. on the platform now into your existing SolidWorks environment, which is giving an integrated you the tool right flexibility to use desktop. whichever tool best Drag suits your needs. Drag my new part that I created over, and it snaps right into place, right into the assembly where where it started from. So that's how you can use the platform and SOLIDWORKS together to create stuff that you never could before. Here's a short video on those 3D swim communities like I mentioned. This is your social media inspired news feed. So I'm just gonna create a post here. You can comment, you can like, you will receive notifications. You can get feedback from the team. One of my favorite tools is called the Ideas Pipeline, which you can then, instead of creating a post, you create an idea, and then it's tracked this, uh, through this idea funnel so you can see which concepts you want to move through to the next stage of development. There's also an integrated survey feature as well for you to get some feedback from the team using a survey too. And then obviously you can at mention people, and once you're at mentioned in a post, You'll have a notification in the upper right of your screen, just like you would on any social media environment. So it's really cool to have this trackable feedback space for you to post ideas and really move your designs along throughout the design process. And the big key is that everything is in one spot. You don't have to worry about emails or anything else like that anymore. Now, the final video I have for you is project planning. Like I said, this is one of my favorite apps to use. This really helps a, a, a team or a project really stay on, on, on task and uh, not miss any of the deliverables. It's really easy to use. So here I'm just creating a new project. I added a cover photo and a title. And now I'm just gonna add some members to this project. Once the rest of your team members are on the platform, you can just easily search for them by their name, add them to your project, and then start building out your schedule. Now the schedule is blank because this is a new project. So the first thing I'll do is I'll add a final milestone. This could be you know, the date you have to pack up your car to get it ready for the track, 
or you can have multiple milestones throughout the design process if you want. You can then start adding your tasks and subtasks to those milestones to help complete that goal. You can add start date, end date, maybe the duration of how long tasks will take. You can connect tasks together to make them dependencies, as you're seeing there. So as the schedule shifts, the rest of the, the tasks then shift accordingly. So once I have this all built out, I can start editing these tasks. Uh, my favorite spot here, which is you're selecting what cloud collaborative space you want all of the content to be saved to. So that way, when somebody says, hey, I've completed a task, you know where the file is. Easy drag and drop from to do to in progress to let, let the rest of the team know that you've started that task. And here you can see the summary of your project, how many tasks you have left to do, how many you've finished, which ones are at risk, and a lot more helpful information. So this really does help the team project run very, very easy, very fluid, and nobody misses a, a deadline anymore. Now, as you saw from one of the earlier slides, there's a loads of other advanced roles and apps from other Dassault brands that are included with our 3D Experience Platform sponsorship. So coming from Katia, you've got comprehensive part design, surface design, assembly creation, uh, drawing generation, even advanced function-driven design tools to uh, like generative design tools to analyze weight reductions to help save weight on your parts. There's electrical wiring and routing, and also photorealistic virtual reality as well. Coming from Simulia, this is all your simulation capabilities. So it's a complete set of analysis solutions to guide your design decisions to help improve product performance. You've got advanced crash tests and structural analysis, component stress analysis, aerodynamic simulations, as you see in the bottom left there, as well as fluid dynamics, too, to help with cooling. And finally, from Delmia, you know, bring your part to life. You have advanced machining to help rapid prototype your custom parts with two and a half, three, and four axis machining. And you can easily define tool paths to bring your custom part to life. But the platform is so much more than just CAD. You've got your dashboards, your integrated cloud storage of 3D Drive and 3D Space. You have messaging and video all included as well, as well as integrated cloud lifecycle management, which is really important for a team project. That way, two people aren't trying to work on the same file at the same time, and you can make sure all of your parts move through the phase to, uh, to become released and ready to go. And the big kicker is that all of this is in the same user interface. No more trying to learn four or five different interfaces throughout the design process. It's all one interface. And I think this slide sums it up pretty well of the big advantages of the 3D Experience platform. So you have the same file, one platform. So there's one file type throughout the entire design process, starting with 3D design, even topology optimization, simulation, virtual reality, rendering, and machining. It's all the same file type. No more transferring files from your CAD tool to your different simulation application, which then, because they're not speaking the same language, you don't have the, um, the, the features aren't carried over, and it's a lot harder to use. No more losing files. We're trying to find out which one is the final assembly for your team project because you're all working from the same final, uh, final uh, file. Everything's all connected together, so files with members and members with each other, and it's all in the same user interface. Now, woven in between here, you have your real-time collaboration tools of your uh, dashboards and your communities, as well as your integrated cloud storage, linking everything and everyone together in one spot. And then woven in between there are all of your governance tools, like project planning, lifecycle management, review and markup, and so much more. So that's really the offer that we can give to you all as student teams using the 3D Experience platform, one file, one platform. So to recap, some of the benefits that the platform provides is all your files are in the cloud. So 
complete with integrated lifecycle management. There's no other um, uh, product data management tool to worry about. All that's included. There's collaboration in real time on any device with your tablets and Macs. There's sub-D organic modeling with X-Shape. Browser-based modeling in the cloud with X-Design and X-Sheet Metal and X-Shape as well. And within X-Design, you have design guidance powered by artificial intelligence and machine learning suggestions to accelerate your designing. So if you have a sprocket that has 70 different uh, teeth on it and you need to fill it, all of those teeth, instead of clicking on it 70 different times as you would have to um, in normal uh, tools, you just click on one of those teeth and machine learning says, well, you probably want to add that same fillet to the rest of these, click yes, and then boom, all those fillets are applied. So it's all about accelerating your design. And because it's, all, it's a cloud platform on the browser, after you sign up, you can either book, bookmark that, uh, that URL, or if you can remember this one, just go to solidworks.com slash academic dash cloud and log in with your username and password, and it will take you directly to your platform, your cloud storage, your 3D modeling from anywhere on any device. So next up, let's talk about how to get sponsored. First up for the 3D Experience platform, you can go to edu.3ds.com slash challenges. And from there, you can find the challenge that you want to participate in. Read a brief description about it. Make sure it's the same one that, you're, that you're, you've already signed up for from the challenges website. Click the next step, which then takes you to a web form to fill out that form. Now, a single person can sign up for just themselves with the, pla um, with the platform sponsorship, or a single person can sign up for their entire team in one simple step. So you have the option to say, I'm a single user or I'm a group of users as you sign up for 3D Experience platform sponsorship. Now we have a dedicated swim community, a dedicated 3D swim community, which is available on your dashboard that comes with your platform sponsorship, which you can click on to get direct support from, from the 3D experience platform experts. So that way, since it's a new platform, we wanna make sure you feel comfortable and can ask any questions with a click of a button. Next up is SolidWorks desktop sponsorship. You can go to solidworks.com slash student sponsorship. And from there, you'll be directed to a web form. Simply complete that form. And then we'll, after we process it, you'll receive an email with download instructions to go to our website to then download the software. That's pretty simple to sign up for both 3D Experience platform sponsorship and SolidWorks sponsorship. Now, both sponsorships are completely 100% free to you. And you can sign up for both as well. You can have SolidWorks and 3D Experience Platform running simultaneously. And the final section I'll go over today is all about certifications and my SolidWorks and why they're important. So with certification, what that allows you to do is you can better your job skills. And those cert same certifications are used and completed by industries in the, the working place. So it's a, a uniform place for all students and professionals to have a level playing field. And a lot of these certifications from SolidWorks are recognized, um, have the most recognized CAD certifications by those hiring managers. And beyond just the CSWA, which is the associate exam, and the CSWP, which is the professional exam, there's also 11 more advanced uh, exams, ranging from sheet metal and surfacing and so much more that you can then take and pass as well and put on your resume. So here's all the certifications that are available, as well as some new 3D Experience Platform certifications too. And finally, My SolidWorks. So My SolidWorks is a website you should have ingrained in your brain because this is where you have access to over a thousand hours of free learning content for students. 
So it's mysolidworks.com is the website. You can create your SolidWorks ID, and you're off to the races. There's training videos on SolidWorks and 3D Experience platform. And the cool thing about MySolidWorks is that it goes hand in hand with your certification. So you can have use your free MySolidWorks account and then prep for your free CSWA and CSWP exam. So if you uh, have access to the platform or even new to SolidWorks for the first time, you can go to MySolidWorks.com and watch loads of how-to videos to become a pro in no time. So it's pretty easy to sign up. Like I mentioned, MySolidWorks.com. And it's free to sign up, and you get account um, access to just the basic learning content. But then just simply Google search for MySolidWorks for students, and a, the video will come up. That's the first hit. And you can use your 90200 serial number that you receive from the SolidWorks student sponsorship team to unlock all of the content that's available for students. So I know we covered a lot today, uh, but thank you very much for joining. We have two links here for you to learn more, which is edu.3ds.com for the 3D Experience platform, and then also solidworks.com slash education to learn more about SolidWorks. And at this point, like I said, I know we covered a lot, so if you have any questions, if you haven't already typed them into the Q&A or into the, uh, to the questions panel, please go ahead and do that now. And I'll turn it over to Valerie to start the Q&A. Thank you very much, Brian. Uh, first of all, let's have a look at the poll uh, results. So, first question was, uh, have you already signed up for SolidWorks sponsorship? The answer is yes at 24% and no at 76%. And second question, have you heard about our closed-based 3D experience transform? Yes, 30% and no, 70%. I do have that Brian's presentation. We have convinced you to apply for a sponsorship. And that now you know almost everything about our 3D experience platform. I said almost because there are so many things to discover by yourself when using it. I know that it is a lot of information in a short time, but it isn't as complex as it seems, and you have a lot of resources available, as Brian mentioned, available to help you make it very simple. So in terms of questions, we just got one I answered. Oh, there is no one. Uh, I am new to SolidWorks. Does it need graphic cards for using the software? Yes, you have within the on, on the SolidWorks website at the bottom of the home page, you have uh, all information about uh, hardware, hardware uh, cards, uh, requirements, and so on. So go to our website SolidWorks.com, and you will find everything. And the other question I answered, I think it's important for everybody, but I know that Boyan covered that in his presentation, but it's important to say it again. Um, if teams sign up for a particular competition, is there anyone who will moderate and guide our team? Of course, there are support, there are community, there are resources, but they also have, you also have our support from our a solid solution. We have one of our representatives attending, and uh, you are not alone. You will be helped, of course. So I think so that's that a good, that's uh, a good point you bring up, Valerie. There's um, I don't know if you may not have seen it in that video that we showed at the very beginning, which uh, highlighted the the student the Formula student team from India. Uh, in some of the shots, were their local resellers to help them, guide them through using uh, SolidWorks sponsorship. So it's really important to, to lean on your local resellers, SolidWorks resellers as well, who can help you just like Solid Solutions. Of course. And also, I would like to ask you to fill in the post-webinar survey. You will find it uh, on the resource tab within your screen. And you will also find it in the email you will receive together with a recorded version of this webinar. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. 
and uh, we search for this other for any questions you may have, of course. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you.